I was in college when um when they both were diagnosed with it. Um, got calls, both was fighting. One of them made it, one didn't. Um, it just it, it hurts it hurts to hear it. But that, um, then again, just gotta keep them in your prayers and just talk to them every day, make sure they're strong and pretty much just be there for them. Uh, my cousin, she was always there um, when I needed her, when my mom, brothers, anybody in the family needed her. Um, she was my cousin, but I call her my auntie. Tyra was a very well-known, educated black woman. She was a loving, giving, would take her shirt off and give to anybody. Tyra was my oldest daughter. If you wanted anyone in your side, it would have been Tyra because the one thing about her, she's not going to let you fail. She didn't believe in it can't be done or you couldn't do it. That was like my mom's best friend. She was like, her and my mom was real tight out of, out of all the cousins. Me and my brother were both in school, so she didn't want to bring us down and nothing. But when it finally came to the end and her passing away, she had no choice but to tell us. We were unfortunate to find out two months before she passed that she had stage four pancreatic cancer. She turned 49 on the 20th of September and she expired on the 28th of September. So many people depended on Tyra and for the short amount of time we didn't expect Tyra to be gone that soon. Mine was a total shock. The doctors totally missed the fact that the x-ray had said that there was an area in my lungs that looked at aggressive. At the time, it was the size of a pea. By the time they actually realized that something was going on, it was the size of a plum. Within two weeks from the time that they finally picked it up, I had them had surgery, was in the hospital for a week, and home. And it just became a lot of like a testimony to how good God was, because I, I, they could have missed it, and I could have been dead and gone, but I'm still here running. Even though I work at Cedars, uh, being a patient, a cancer patient uh, and survivor, uh, part of that was the rebuilding process. Rebuilding for each cancer survivor is a little different, you know, because what I needed, the other person may not need the same type of, of rebuilding programs, but we offer so many different types that I'm sure a cancer survivor can find the one that's right for them. And know that we here at the Wellness Resilience and Survivorship Department are here to help you when you need it. Uh, we're here to help you rebuild after your cancer treatment. And we want you to know that there is a community of support available to you uh, and that you're not alone. So take it one day at a time and know that we are here when you need us. Well, actually it was hard because again, she's the go-to auntie for everything, for everybody in the family. When you need prayer, you went to her. When you need advice, you went to her. And for her to be going through and dealing with what she was dealing with, it was kind of hard. I mean, it wasn't as hard as it was with me, with Tara, but, you know, because me and Tara was close. We was real close. And, and I mean, to see them go through what they went through was very hard, not just on me, on our family. We are very, very close-knit family. It's about 150 of us or more now, but because we love one another, we are our support. We're just having a sister, brother, a daughter and son, children, a cousins, you know, that, that, that they were there there was that nucleus that she needed. My family, by us being big, we help each other and we do well on each other. So uh, I feel like it's important to bring wellness is um, just to give people that strength and that, that courage to just, just to keep fighting and not to just um, give up. And I mean, cancer is all about just fighting and try to get better.
all the support and everything, anything you could do or others can do, I mean, that helps a lot because it helps the person just not be down. The advice that I give uh, someone that's just going through cancer or whatever, battling anything, just pretty much just, just fight, keep fighting and, and, and never give up.